Hey friends, so I did it two years ago and I'm doing it again this year. How much does a flow artist make in a given year? Let's dive in. Drex here from drexfactor.com and in 2019, I finally met a personal goal that I set a couple years ago in that I grossed more than $30,000 as a full-time flow artist. Let me show you how I did it. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultrapoy for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So as of the recording of this video, I am on target to come in at $31,590 of gross income for 2019. Hallelujah. So for those of you out there who love the idea of doing flow arts full time and would really like to know how I pulled this off, let me kind of break down for you how this worked. Basically, I'm gonna go item by item, least to greatest in terms of where my income came from in the past year. Coming in at about $270 worth of income for the past year was selling online courses through Teachable. Now, I don't have that many courses available on Teachable, and strangely enough, the frequency of people buying them picked up late in the year, and I'm still not sure why, but this is a thing that I think I'm gonna try and push a little bit more in the coming year. Um, when I first started offering courses through Teachable, I wasn't really really encouraged by the response that I got, um, but I think that there are better ways for me to leverage this in the future, and especially it's one of those things that's great because it's passive income. You know, once I have created the course and everything, uh, people can go sign up for it in as many numbers as they want. Um, and I think also I'm going to expand what I offer on there into being not just poi, but also I'd love to do a course on how to get started on Patreon, because I think at this point uh, I have quite a lot of knowledge on this topic, and I'd love to be able to help other people out with it too. Next up, coming in at about $2,200 was affiliate income. What is affiliate income? Uh, so basically, there are a bunch of companies out there in the flow arts world that produce props that I enjoy using that uh, are basically offering me commissions on sales. Uh, whether it be a review or a video of me performing with their props or what have you, um, there's something to be said for seeing somebody that you like and respect using a given prop and wanting to own that prop yourself. So they give me a promo code that I distribute to my audience and everything, and they then use that promo code at checkout. And depending upon the company, I either get a flat rate per sale or I get a percentage of the sale. Currently, I have promo codes through, I think, like a half dozen different companies. Uh, off the top of my head, there is Flow Toys and Land Lantern Smith and Ultra Poi and Amazing Lights and uh, I believe Mayday Atlanta as well. And there might be one more in there that I'm forgetting. But uh, basically, these are companies whose products uh, I tend to use and uh, don't mind sending other people their way. And the great thing about that arrangement is that I get to see my friends who are producing great products, be able to sell more of those products, as well as it helping out my work as well. So pretty rad. Next up, a brand new entry into ways that I am earning money off of my channel and as a flow artist, namely sponsorships. So sponsorships are something that I've kind of tried out a little bit in the past, but that I've been taking much more seriously in the fourth quarter here in uh, 2019, and there have been some good results uh, coming out of that. The idea here is that there's a particular company that is going to pay you for product placement in one or more pieces of content. Um, and as those of you who've been following my channel in the past few months will know, I've done a couple tutorial series that featured very prominently the products of uh, a couple companies that I've worked with and everything. I've also done one-off performance videos that involve a given company's product as well. So that came in at right around $2,500 this year, uh, which is good and something that I am going to definitely be working on uh, doing more of that in the future because I feel like it's one of those things that like it's good for me and it's good for the company because it gets their stuff out there and um, the number that I've been able to track definitely seem to indicate that the raised public awareness and everything does help increase sales for these companies. So I I, I like the idea of finding companies that offer a product that I enjoy and me 
you know, being able to give them the opportunity to bring that product to a wider audience. Next up is a grab bag of a category called Other, which came in at just under $3,000 this past year. So what's bundled up in Other? Um, so basically this is all of my gig income as well as my income from doing one session of in-person classes here in Washington, D.C. in the past year. Um, Basically, it was everything that I just didn't have a home for otherwise, and I didn't gig enough to have a separate uh, tab for that. Uh, fun fact, I did almost no gigging this past year, and all the gigging that I did do is for a event here in DC called Daybreaker, where I basically just uh, show up and entertain people at a thing that I would be attending anyway. Uh, the other thing that's included in this category, of course, is income that I got from the very few uh, fire festivals that I attended this year. So yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's definitely kind of a smorgasbord of different things. Um, and I don't know that I see a big way to increase that piece of the pie in the future, especially because I'm trying to move away from gigging. Uh, but it did wind up being a significant portion of, uh, of what came in this past year. Next up, my YouTube AdSense revenue. So through AdSense this past year, I pulled in just under $3,300, which is pretty awesome because that that means that on average I was doing slightly less than uh, $300 worth of income per month through AdSense revenue. In case you're curious what that looks like in terms of YouTube traffic, uh, I usually hover around 100,000 views per month with just shy of 300,000 uh, watch time minutes on my channel. I will also say something that is hugely important in uh, having increased my AdSense revenue on YouTube was finally getting to a point where I understood the importance of tagging and keyword targeting with videos. Uh, namely, the more that advertisers know who your content is directed to, uh, the more likely they are to be able to pay you for ads that run on your content. Which, hey, that could be the entire topic of a video in itself. Do you all want to hear about how I do keyword targeting? on YouTube and am able to make $300 a month off of the AdSense revenue from that? Let me know down in the comments, yeah? Next up, another brand new category that wound up being a huge new source of income for me in the past year doing workshop tours. Now, unfortunately, I had scheduling conflicts and a number of other things that conspired to keep me from doing another workshop tour in the fall or in the early winter, as I'd originally hoped, but I will be doing more workshop tours next year. Um, and those workshop tours that I did do in March and June were hugely successful for me and brought in around $6,700 for me, which is awesome. And finally, the biggest portion of my income from the past year, I think it's like 44% of what I made, came in through Patreon. That is right, uh, the uh, crowdfunding platform that helps content creators like myself. I had a really good year on. I made about $13,700 this year off of Patreon, which yes, that means that on average I'm pulling in more than $1,000 a month, which is so awesome. Among other things, I changed up my reward structure and strategy this year, and it wound up increasing my income by about 20 to 30%. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the things that I did to improve my income through Patreon in this past year. I actually just uh, recently did a video on that topic that I'll link to up in the cards for you. So honestly, I am pretty proud of the fact that I made this goal and now it's time to set a new goal for the next couple years and everything. Um, when I first started spending Poi full time, I really didn't know where the income was going to come from. I thought that it was going to be primarily gigs and everything and then I found out I really don't like gigging. Um, and it makes me really happy knowing that uh, the audience and resources that I've developed over the course of these past few years have turned into something that has become something closer to a living wage, you know? But for right now, here's the challenge I'm going to put out there. Are you a full-time flow artist? Maybe you run a clothing company or a prop company, or you have a similar business to the way that I run things, where it's built in Patreon or some other uh, kind of service that you're offering people and everything. Show me your numbers. 
I want the general public out there to get a rough idea of all the different careers that are possible within the flow arts. So that is the challenge for those of you out there that are flow artists running festivals or running prop companies or what have you. Uh, share your numbers with the, with the general public so they can see what the careers are out there and how you build a successful business in the flow arts, yeah? If you dug this video and you'd like to see more like it, pretty please hit that subscribe button as well as hitting the notification bell. That guarantees that you will see my videos when they are released. And finally, a huge thank you to those of you that probably more than anything else have made this past year possible. That is my supporters on Patreon. This video exists and all the videos on my channel exist because of your support. Thank you so much. Uh, if you out there watching would like to sign up to support the work that I'm doing, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I pursue in the future, plus some great exclusive content too. So check it out. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one.